So I decided to try up a new piece of content. And uh, since I love to draw, I thought it'd be fun to get a whiteboard out and start explaining some concepts in natural medicine and medicine uh, using whiteboard and drawing. So in this video, I wanna talk about zinc ionophores. So what are zinc ionophores? Zinc ionophores are substances that can shuttle zinc into the cell where zinc acts as an antiviral. So in, here we have a cell. This can represent either a lung epithelial cell or a macrophage, and it has these receptors on it here called ACE2 receptors. And this is the coronavirus, the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus, and it has these little coronas or crowns, these little spikes on it, that actually bind to the ACE2 receptor and when it binds to it, it releases its mRNA into the um, cytoplasm of the cell. The cell then sees that mRNA, starts reading it, and this makes copies of the virus and winds up killing the cell and you get viral replication that way. Zinc is an ion which can actually block the replication of viruses by, by blocking viral replicase. The problem is that zinc is an ion that doesn't very readily enter cells very easily. Um, it's, it's a slow, the ion transporter normally allowed for zinc is uh, slow, it does not very, it's not very effective. So we need to figure out ways to get zinc inside of cells faster where it can then block the replication of viruses. That's where zinc ion force come into play. So, a substance like quercetin comes in and creates a little ion channel inside, right on the membrane of the cell, allowing for zinc to then enter into the cells. So what winds up happening is these zinc ionophores attach to the cells and zinc fl floods in. The concentration of zinc inside the cells goes up and then zinc can begin blocking the uh, replication of these viruses. So. Some common zinc ionophores are quercetin, um, uh, EGCG, which is the, the, one of the ingredients in green tea, hydroxychloroquine, which is a drug that's getting a lot of attention, has been getting a lot of attention around uh, SARS uh, virus, and ivermectin. Uh, all these substances act as zinc ionophores, in addition to doing other things um, and uh, having other mechanisms of action in which they uh, help to uh, block the, the sulfur. Quercetin, for example, can actually come in here on the ACE2 receptor and block the entry of um, the SARS virus into the cell. So there are other mechanisms, but uh, zinc ionophores, uh, the mechanism of zinc ionophores is one of the most powerful ones. And one that's being studied uh, right now really, really strongly because um, uh, of its effect on really lowering the severity of, of, um, of SARS-CoV-2 virus uh, symptoms and helping people um, get better. So that is a what is zinc ionophore is. Hope you enjoyed that video.